Welcome to Willow Springs International Raceway. I'm Dawson March and I'm a mechanical engineering student from Canada. Most recently, I interned for one year with the Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One powertrain team in the UK. Currently running in the European FX Series races, the PCO16 you see behind me is the next generation of this race car now available to the North American market. Today we are shaking down the car to do some data acquisition, find the optimal suspension tuning, and set our factory baseline performance metrics. I'm Giorgio Ribaudo, the CEO of Predators USA. As a former race car driver, I'm proud to present today the Predators PC-016. This is an entry-level, open cockpit, open wheels, and in both affordable and precision engineered. This little race car is the perfect choice for beginners, neophyte, weekend racer, and absolutely for the young, graduating go-karts who want to step up to the races, to the racing schools, coaches, and the Rive and Drive Racing Series. For testing today, we've chosen a hybrid of test driver and race engineer in Christian Ruddy to assist me. Christian is a regional go-kart champion who started racing at the age of five and is known for his syndicated website, kidspeed.com. So Christian is not only a race car driver, isn't he, Dozen? That's right, Giorgio. Christian is also a talented engineer who started studying mechanical engineering for motorsport at college at the age of 16. Given his background, he was the perfect choice for us to test this exciting new race car. That's right. The Formula Predator car uses an open wheel design, not unlike what you see on the Formula One circuit. It's powered by a race proven 600cc Honda engine into a six speed sequential transmission. It's chain driven into a solid rear axle. Famous designer Colin Chapman once said with his Lotus cars that his philosophy was to simplify then add lightness, and I believe this Formula Predator car follows that to a T. When I made the decision to change my career from design and engineering to becoming a racing driver, there are a few points of entry for an individual without any prior experience. However, an industry for a scholarship would change the course of my life. Ironically, Christian, who I met the summer I won that shootout, was already an accomplished kart racer at eight years old and a serious brainiac who aspired to go into motorsport engineering. In essence, crisscrossing our intended conclusions. The Formula Predator is a great starting point for racers at the inception of their career. But more so, I know that many amateurs who race on the weekends secretly hope to be in an open wheel car. However, the cost is typically the barrier of entry and prohibits them from moving forward. This car is economically sound and fit to fill that void. Christian, as a future engineer, knows what happens in the cockpit, yet he is also a racer who thinks like an engineer and I think that this manufacturer has made the right choice today. Good luck, guys. So let's see Christian head out on the track for a practice run. For the rear axle, obviously you've got, you know, a solid rear axle, yeah. which is pretty comparable to a go kart. I've, so I've noticed that with I noticed that with the so, with the solid axle, yeah. since the tires are almost always a little bit slipping. Yeah. The, the barrier between just kind of having the rear in line and getting that rotation. Yeah. It's, it's a very thin barrier between that and going over it. Yeah. Yeah. So and spinning it. Yeah. Just you need to have you need to just modulate the throttle right. Mm -hmm. So how did, most how, how did it feel like in high speed versus? low speed corners like with it, the aero balance versus the mechanical grip balance how was that I, di I didn't notice i didn't notice that that much of a difference between how it handled the different kinds of, the different kinds of corners yeah you definitely feel the weight you definitely feel the weight treads for more in the, in the slow corners since that's since that's most of the load mm -hmm. when the air load comes in 
there's a bit less of that, mm -hmm. and it's more just, and it's and it's more just about what you're doing with your line. Right. Yeah. So are you playing with the throttle quite a lot throughout the corner to get that rear to slip out? Yeah. Yeah. And as for like the front, obviously through the corners you're going to want to have more front grip. So do you think there's anything we can adjust with front tires, with the camber or anything, um, or the toe to get you that front heavy grip so that you can lose the rear on the corners when you need to? Yeah, I've, I've noticed that I got a, I've got quite a lot of front in the um, in the mid corner. Yeah. I think if if anything, I'd like a little bit more front on entry. Okay. So maybe so, we could tow in a bit. So tow so tow in could work. Yeah. Or um. Or less camber. Okay. So I think we'll make some adjustments. We'll maybe uh, tow in a little bit, maybe a little bit less camber, um, maybe a bit of rearward bias on the brakes, and go out for another run, see how it feels, yeah? Okay, let's go. What's going on, everybody? My name is Carter Fartuck, professional race car driver and one of the lead instructors at Skip Barber Racing School. Um, from somebody who is able to take novice drivers to the top professional drivers in the country, the idea of an easy, affordable, open wheel race car is something that is not very common. And this car luckily checks those boxes. It's an easy to drive car for anybody who's just getting out of simulators, trying to make it into the car racing world, semi coming from karting to make it in the car racing world, or just novice drivers all around. It's that perfect type of car for every type of driver. Um, Dawson and Christian have a little bit of a challenging task to try to make this car feel like an authentic professional race car, but also be able to be driven from somebody who's maybe never stepped foot in a race car. Uh, knowing Christian from his young age and watching him grow as a karting driver help him understand how to trail brake for the first time ever. Um, I know that he has the smarts to be able to make this car be absolutely outstanding and get the absolute most out of this car. And lucky enough, he can drive really, really well as well to show that side of things on the track. Um, really looking forward to seeing the progress. Good luck, guys, and I'll be following along very, very closely. What I love about the Formula Predator car is that it combines the sensibilities and great handling of a Formula car with the mechanical elegance of a kart. As a racer, I, I enjoy that, and as an engineer, I think that's beautiful. Because it's so light, the downforce that it makes goes a really long way to making for stable and predictable handling. This is Christian, safety first, and see you at the finish line. <laughs>